Gerard, let's start with you. Um, you're listed as one of the executive producers as the of this movie. So this movie definitely means a lot to you, the story of Sam Childers. Can you tell me about that? Well, I think that it, when, when you describe that story to somebody, sometimes you forget to say that it's a true story, and they're like, really? Come on. And you go, no, it's actually a true story. Wow. You know, it's just this remarkable, epic journey of, of, of a man fighting to get control of his own life, and then when he does find this kind of redemption, this transformation, he then takes on this massive um, kind of epic purpose, which is to go down to Africa and fight to save children, build an orphanage, and basically fight against this, this militia, this rebel force who, who kill, rape, you know, the kind of mass genocide going on down there. He, he took it upon himself to, to fight these guys, you know, not just defend himself, but to go and attack them. Um, that's a pretty exceptional story. So it felt like a chance to say, you know, one of those stories that means something to us mm -hmm. and, and, and it means something to other people, you know, it impacts people. Mm -hmm. That's been my experience, of, our experience, I think, when people watch this movie is, wow, you know, how, how powerfully it affects them. And mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a great place to be. So that's why I wanted to get involved at that level. Mm -hmm. Michelle, let's talk about your interaction with Lynn Childers. Mm -hmm. How did she help you in preparing for this role? Well, I, she's obviously a very complex person, you know, and I and I knew that um, I kind of wanted to get to the bottom of her and what makes her tick as a person, and, and really understanding the dynamic between Sam and and, and Lynn, and and uh, she was an open book. She answered a lot of questions for me, and uh, you know, she's someone who I consider to be a, a very very much of a quiet giant, someone who's really steadfast in their in their faith and. And, um, and her belief in her husband that, that he's doing, uh, I guess, God's work. And uh, she's incredibly strong. Gerard, back to you. Can you tell me about your trips to Sudan? How, does it, how did it affect you? Well, you no, know, we filmed in South Africa. Um, we didn't go to Sudan. The, the, the one trip that Sam took down there with the director and the writer, I was working, so I couldn't make it. Um, so, um, but just being in, we saw a lot of footage from there, you know, and interviews with Sam. And then we rebuilt a, a whole orphanage down there. And then the kids that we that we used were you know, very, very tribal. And, and, and that's what was, I think, very powerful, is working with these kids every day. You hang out with these kids, and then you go to your source material, which is looking at horrors beyond horrors, you know, photographs of you know, just villages that just wiped out, you know, mass graves full of kids. Uh, uh, you know, amputate your heart, just horrors. And then you look at these kids who are like full of wonder and joy and, 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 and beautiful. And you make that connection and that's, you, you're right there, you know. Then you understand why Sam Childers did what he did. Both your characters go through a profound change. Do you think that this is possible without religion? Absolutely. I mean, I think for in, in the case of Sam and Lynn that um, I think religion was the catalyst in their lives, but uh, I think certainly, uh, you know, people can be very spiritual in their lives and without being necessarily religious, uh, you know, and having, um, starting your own church, you know, that was their path, but, uh, you know, I think uh, everybody can have their own journey without religion, really, and, and still make a difference in, in this world. Yeah, I think there's an infinite amount of things that can cause somebody just to change, you know? They might just hit a rock bottom. Mm -hmm and realize I'm either about to drop off the edge or I have a whole life ahead of me. It doesn't have to be backed by God, but without a doubt, often the most incredible stories uh, are, are the ones that you personally witness are people who are kind of fueled and backed and supported by this, whether it is a higher power or just the strength of their belief mm -hmm. in, this, in this God or this higher power. It is amazing how that, how much strength that can give somebody, and I, and I actually believe proper protection.